So how was I able to actually only lose 50% when Wonderland time crashed over 99%? We're going to show you in today's video. I'm actually going to show you completely transparently what my current holdings for Wonderland time are, what my dollar cost average was, and how in one account I actually did lose 99%. Let's take a look. As you can see from this chart, we no longer really pay attention to Wonderland time. We now pay attention to W memo. And we can look at that in past videos, or if you have questions about that, just let us know. But nearly all of your holdings in the Wonderland ecosystem, if you lost when the Wonderland time Dow crashed, you were probably holding W memo. Now, as you might be able to see from here, my dollar cost average was $97,750. I only have this one major purchase and I purchased a chunk of it, about $1,000 at the time. That equaled about $1,000 of what percentage I purchased. And you can see that the total worth now is $290. So the reason I say I lost 99% is this actually has recovered some since then. You can see I have a 666 loss, which is scary to see right off the bat. And so this is showing that I only really lost 69%. This is the CoinStats app. It doesn't have my original purchase and several others, but my dollar cost average does come to about 97,000. In all, I did actually lose about 99 or more percent. I am sitting on about just $250 worth and that's nothing to get excited about. I wanna show you another account that I have. And in this other account was a group investment. You can look for the Archon a group investment update in our Patreon or in our Discord. We had several Patreon investors pull our money together. We put about 12 grand together. And in that account, we only lost about 45%. And I wanna show that to you. So what we're gonna look at instead of CoinStats, which is a phenomenal app, but we don't have it set up for our group investor account. What I wanna show you here is the account in Snowtrack. In Snowtrace, this is our wallet address. This is our public wallet address. And we made all of these transactions. Now you can see these aren't all purchases. So many of them are transfers. Some of them are swaps. Some of them are stakes. Long story short, we collected these two transactions. And I want to show this to you because we didn't have an extraordinary dollar cost average. But the approach of dollar cost averaging saved us a ton. As you can see, our initial investment actually was two separate investments that came together. Because of dollar cost averaging, the way we dollar cost average is, we know what chunk of a money we're about to invest in something. We take half of the first chunk of it, put it in. Then we watch for price action to move in our favor, and then we put another chunk of money in as we're watching it. Because of this, back in December 31st, we put our initial half chunk in. We didn't put the whole chunk in. Most of the people who lost 99% or more, as I did in the other account, basically put their entire nut out there and lost their entire nut. As you can see that I put half the nut up there and then another payment, and then we watched the price fall out of bed. This was on January 12th, 2022. And I immediately pumped the brakes on our investment. You see dollar cost averaging, it is about reducing dollar cost average. But more than that, it's also about preserving capital and getting better timing. I don't believe in timing the market. I don't believe you can time the market. I believe it's a fool's errand. But if you have a good, decent dollar cost average, you can do a bit more swing trading and time the market as it moves down in your favor. We were able to pump the brakes entirely. We basically have a rubric that if the market moves so much percent, we then put our next investment. But if the market doesn't move that much, we don't put our next investment in or... If the market moves overly much, we start to pump the brakes, which is what you see here. Our investment then fell by January ridiculously low, and we did end up losing on Wonderland time right here, just under 75%. But across our portfolio, we have only lost about 35% across our entire portfolio because dollar cost averaging. You can see that we were able to pump the brakes, spare ourselves, and we've got capital that we've been sitting on. The rest of this investment has been cash. And now's a great time for us to up our Wonderland time investment, change our strategy a little bit. But I wanna show you very quickly how dollar cost average saved me, not just because I got a great dollar cost average, but because the process of dollar cost averaging prevented me from throwing in too much of my investment in and catching it so that I could pump the brakes and spare myself some of that capital. So now I and the Archon investors, a group of my 12 friends that have all invested together in this, we're able to improve our dollar cost average. In another video, I'm actually gonna show you how that group investment has gone. So watch for the video shortly. I'm gonna actually show you a new and improved dollar cost average and where we've gone because we've been able to preserve our capital, but also what it's like to manage a group investment and where that's at today. In my personal account, I did lose 99%. 
But in our group investment, because of our dollar cost average approach, I was able to spare ourselves some tragic losses. We can now partake of the Wonderland Time Revenue Share. More on the Wonderland Time Revenue Share in the next video.